we finally have someone who actually knows how to make Gaiwa Pinto in our kitchen, in the Doctors for Doctors and Nurses for Nurses headquarters right now. And they're going to teach us how to make Gaiwa Pinto from scratch. <laughs> Do you put, where do you have the water? Did you, oh, did you, I, I dumped the water, out? yeah. No. Do we need the water? Yes. We okay. The water. <laughs> we could flash boil them and keep that water. Yeah, that's what yeah. I would not do because... Executive mistake. Okay, that's the secret about the gallo pinto. You Is have it? to keep the water because otherwise they're going to get dry. Ah. But did you know these beans are from Nicaragua? They're still actually in Nicaraguan dirt. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you keep it uh, with water the whole day. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so when I was coming in from Nicaragua, I brought like three full grocery bags of beans. Um, Ahmed, is this your first experience with Nicaraguan food? Absolutely. Really? Second experience. First experience cooking it. Right? You cannot go wrong. No hot chili, no nothing. Okay, so what do we... Okay, so we put oil and onion put, in here. Yes, okay. you put the oil, put okay. the onion, okay. you smell it. Okay. Yeah. So when it's hot, you put the, um, the beans, but you put less water, just like this one. Okay. Okay, if it's red, it's better, but right now it's not gonna be red. Okay, so you also, you fry the onions a little bit on higher heat, and then now it's like way down, yes. right? You see, it's in the rice has to be from last night. Okay, Always. last night's rice. Yes. Last night's rice. Last Remember that. Rice. Just like white rice is okay. White rice. Okay. Or the brown one. Okay, brown will work you, too. You, we cook, I do it when I cook brown rice I do the like you see how it's watery you <laughs> let it go a little bit more more a uh, little bit more dry okay and then when you put the rice you just go around and around and until you get it wet all of it <laughs> okay just a little bit. I don't like too much so salting. Uh, right, but you need some. Do you put Do you put a good amount of salt in the beans when you make them? Yeah. Okay. The, you feel it the little bit salty. Okay, so you're going to put the rice. Is that why you use yesterday's rice so that it dries out a bit? Well, yeah, or because yeah, it's a little bit in the more fridge. Yeah, right. Okay. That makes sense. Right. Because then it absorbs the water and then it gets the red rice. Yeah. If you use the same right. rice, it's a little too soggy. Okay. It'll get a little soggy. So there should be enough moisture in the bean water. Yes. And in the beans to make it all just a little bit wet. Red. Okay. And red. Too. And red. Otherwise, right now it's not gonna be that red. I'm gonna have that no. Color. Okay. I like it very crunchy when it's the. Yeah, this me too. It's perfect. <laughs> Yo también. <laughs> Tú también. Are you gonna practice your Spanish tonight, Andrew? Si, si. 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 A big bowl. Okay. Put all the sour cream in there. Okay. Little bit of milk. Little bit of vinegar. Salt okay. and vinegar. Salt. Okay. And mix it. Okay. Okay. And you add your flavor. It's okay. Like the, the way you you like it. You okay. Know? Yeah. Some people they put maybe more, more salt, more but vinegar, you whatever. Put a little bit of milk too. Okay. Sour cream, little bit of milk, little bit of vinegar, a little bit of salt. Yeah, and you can okay. even crumble up that cheese. Oof. Clean those. Yeah. We clean them. One by one. No. How? <laughs> many by many. <laughs> with this. With this. Sometimes they oh, have yeah. a, a rock and rocks. you know people eat it. Uh, mm -hmm. And I have a couple friends back home, no? They broke their teeth. Aye. Aye. That's okay. why they go one by one. Okay. It's already done. Okay. It's just I want to um, put a little bit like out of the soggy or wet. And okay. Fry, and I want a little bit crunchy. Okay. But it's already. Honestly, the fastest way to make a pinto, you can buy a can of beans, and then you oil, uh, garlic, onion, and then if you go to like a Latin American food store, you buy the goya. Buy the goya with what's, the red. What's goya? Meat. It's a seasoning. Okay. And I want like almost bottle. bring one. Okay. I, was gonna, I thought you were gonna bring it. Yeah. So that goya seasoning. You want to add a little bit more flavor to that, you yep. can add a little bit of cilantro, 
or like a little bit of tomato okay. and cook it like while okay. while it's while you're cooking the onion, the garlic. We okay. can use jalapeno or the red one. Okay. The Jamaica one. Okay, okay. Oh, you boil the onion. Okay. Okay, boil the water bigger? first. Yeah. Okay, this is the onion. You, yeah. you cut okay. it like in four pieces. Okay. And then you, <laughs> like the flour, you. Okay. Sure, sure. Yeah, it does not look so and then water. when you turn okay. it off, the water is hot. Uh, you yeah. Put it like five, ten minutes. Okay. Take it out, drain it. And okay. leave it to dry. Okay. And then you put the vinegar in the glass and container. Okay. And you put the vinegar like maybe quarter to from the depend on how big it is. Okay. This one. Okay. You so put it like here. Yeah. This is illegal cheese. Right here. <laughs> no. We're not allowed to you have this cheese. You know what my mom says when it she brings smuggled it? Smuggled in. Coconut. She just says she has a coconut? She That's coconut. amazing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is our coconut. The, that were still full of dirt. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, we're just gonna bring those into Canada. And they're still actually up there. Most of them. Check it out. You Don't see? worry, we're gonna oh, use those. Oh, they're so beautiful. Authentic Nicaraguan dirt and beans. Oh, yes. That's a nice Str thing. Straight from a farm. <laughs>